Hi all, welcome. Uh, I'm Prerna Chitlangya. I'm a registered physical therapist here in the United States of America. And today we are going to talk about how do you maintain your sanity and fitness when you're working from home. So in the past episode, we talked about how uh, tips on improving your posture and then dealing with some of the common types of pain and discomfort that you usually get when you're working from home and when you have a makeshift office and not a real office. So now today we are talking about the real fitness, which includes some, some sort of exercises. And for that, I have chosen a prop, which is a water bottle. And this is for a beginner workout, of course, because this is a lightweight bottle. Uh, so once you progress, you can increase your weight or you can invest in some resistance band or some dumbbells and start your fitness journey. We can do this exercise in parts when you are taking a break from your meeting and then you do some part of it. It's always good to like warm up uh, a little bit and then do this exercise and then focus on doing like at least 15 reps, 15 repetition of the same exercise and then at least three times. If you want a full benefit of a complete workout, you need to figure out a way to do at least three rounds of the complete set of exercises. So today I'm just showing you a glimpse of what we can do with a simple prop like a water bottle, which you can find in every home. And then you can build up your uh, fitness journey from there. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate a um, little bit of exercise. So I'll stand and start demonstrating. Okay, so we are talking about the two water bottles. I have two full water bottles, almost like um, 24 ounce each. Um, when we talk about exercise, it's always good to do some warm up or do compound exercise. What do you mean by compound exercise? We actually do two, three muscles together. So they give you a good amount of warm up. So sometimes all you can do is like on spot jogging or running or walking or high knees, just like this for maybe like 40 times or more. If you are in good fitness level already, you can just actually do this and start. Okay, so once you are done with this, we are actually going to do some weight training and weight training is good. Uh, because it improved the osteoblastic activity, which means it's good even for the osteoporotic cases, the people who have, um, um, so who suffer from soft bones. So weight training kind of improves. If it's not a jerky movement, it improves your overall body structure. Okay, so the first exercise is the bicep curl, which can be done in two ways. So you just hold those bottles. Why I'm taking this bottle? Because it's easier to grasp. I hope you all can see me. So you do this. Whenever you're doing this, you just bend your knees a little bit. So you're not taking the pressure on your back. You're actually working from your biceps or your arms. So you keep your hands close here and at least 15 reps. So there are two ways. One is like this. Other one is like this. This is called hammer curl. So you do this for 15 times. Now you do the chest press, which is like this. Now it's going to improve your back muscle, upper back posture. It's going to improve the chest. And then it's going to tone up your chest like this for 15. Now with the same thing, you actually do this up, up, up. Now, when I talk about compound movement, if you are in a hurry and you still want to get the benefit of all the exercise, you just combine this like this and then Now in with the same uh, water bottle, you can hold the two water bottles together or you can have a single water bottle depending on the strength of your arm or triceps. You just do this. So the aim is to keep your um, elbow straight when you do this so that, so that your triceps are activated. You do 15 reps of this. 
Then with the same water bottle, all you do is lunch. You hold and you do the lunch. So when you're holding a water bottle, you are bound to keep your body straight. So your core is working, your lower body is working, and since you're holding weight, you're actually burning calories a little bit faster than one without weight. So you just do the <coughs> lunge. This is called reverse lunge. So it works on your glute muscle, your back muscles. Then you repeat on the other side. Now with the same water bottle, you do, um, okay, I'll, I'll pose like this so that it's a little bit clear. It's called a deadlift, but we are just doing the partial deadlift. So for that, you just need to keep your knee bent and bend from your, uh, you keep your back straight and bend like this. So this is going to stretch your hamstring muscle. You do this and you squat. You do this and you squat this squat so for people who are just starting this might this one last one might be a tough one so what you do is you take support in the wall and you do this you can even keep the weight closer do this or you can even hold so when you keep a variety of uh, exercises in your routine, you actually tend to activate a lot of muscle and then you keep your core activated. So this is a very short glimpse of what you can do with a water bottle when you are actually doing a workout during your office break. So you can finish this in 30 minutes if you have an office break. So this was the... <laughs> This was the glimpse of what we can do with a water bottle. And if you want more detail or you want a follow through kind of program, you can visit. I'm sorry, I'm just a little, little breathless because I'm talking continuously with exercise. So you can visit the YouTube link, Fit Bites with Prerna, and check out more videos on this. This actually, I my knee started paining when I did the wall thing. Yeah, that one's tough, but it's good for the back. So you don't have to hold. I'm sweating already without anything. <laughs> so in, in your case, if you got knee pain, you do the partial squat. You do not do the full squat mm -hmm. till you build your knees. Then I have a new video on the knee strengthening part. You should just check that out and start oh. doing those. Yes, yeah. we'll share the link there. All right, thank you, Prerna. Uh, if you want to check out more, like Prerna said, you can go to Fit Bites with Prerna. There are a lot of exercises and videos that can help you for different requirements so we hope you enjoyed this and uh, we all want you to stay safe and get fit thank you Brenna, for joining thank you so much